Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekend reading. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. If you enjoy the reading, keep in mind it's going to be a general weekend reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. And uh, everything you need, personal readings, everything's in the description box below. All right, Virgo, let's get into this weekend reading. This is going to be for June 9th through the 11th. And... Uh, Let's see what the messages are. And I am using my Moon Pie Tarot deck. If you would like to get this deck, this is my personally made Oracle deck. The link is also below in this description box. Okay, let's see. We get messages for Virgo. Okay, got a loving older female. You're getting a sweet text message, and you also have good friends. Okay. Uh, let's see what's playing out here. So Friday, there's a loving older female who's going to be significant to you on Friday in your life. Let's see what this is. And that could also just be you. So temperance, it could be a Sagittarius. Um, she's going to be helping you. Oh, there you go. Three of swords. She's going to be helping you heal a broken heart when she could she could be coming in as a romantic partner she could be coming in as a friend um she's gonna help try to like smooth things out bring some common sense um the loving older female will represent usually represents a water sign so she's very nurturing healing supportive uh tolerant empathetic um uh, she's all about family good health um, trying to like, she's all about the wishes and the dreams. She's kind of a dreamer. Okay. So this, just so you know, male or female energy. Okay. Bring, bringing peace on Friday to a, an argument, um, or something that caused some discord. She may help you with, she could be a physician. Uh, she may help you with, um, some emotional struggles, depression. She could be helping, um, offering assistance, directing you somewhere, maybe to try a certain medication or get into some healing modalities, aromatherapy, something along those lines. She could also be someone who works with acupuncture. Um, she, uh, there's a lot of medical connection or nutritional, um, or, uh, uh, what's the other word? Home homeopath homeopathy? Is that the word? Yeah, there's some connection that she has, she or he has that she brings. So something on Friday is gonna come uh towards you. Um yeah, look, even acupun acupuncture or she can be connected to like chiropract. Maybe going to chiropractor. I said chiropract. Maybe there's a chiropractor or something you're going to, um, or an acupuncturist. Uh, it could be a friend. It's something that you're connecting with. This person, sh he or she. Yeah, Friday's big for healing. <laughs> Friday is like big for healing. Um, there's also a, a person in a romantic type sense that's um, wanting to bring peace to some type of an argument or uh, loss or uh, conflict that affected the heart um, wants to bring, bring peace to something that ended you know what I mean so let me see here okay this kind of feels like a little bit of yesterday's reading too so Friday June 9th let me see I just want to get one more card here for you Oh yeah, look, yeah, if you haven't listened to yesterday's reading, uh, I suggest you do, okay? Yesterday's reading, I, f I forget what it's called, but I, I ha it was for uh, Wednesday, okay? It was the last reading that I did before, it was the one before this one. I'll link it, okay? So you'll be able to get that message, but yeah, this is, look at the healing, look at the um, caduceus. You know, and that lion with the wings and, and there's just maybe somebody's like military doctor or something, but there's some connection here to coming into union, harmony, peace, restoring balance. Um, I'm hearing, hold on, I can't hear it. I'm bringing a, bringing a peace and harmony uh, and uh, there's like a two people coming together as well now listen it's it, in a romantic sense or just as friends that i'm seeing the overall message is restoring balance R balance being restored through by with or from 
another person coming in to help or to bring peace and harmony to a situation Friday. So, I mean, that's great. That is, you know, um, like I said, this, this could have something like for somebody, I can't be specific, but I do feel like it's either, um, you know, I'm seeing romantic relationship here, friendship, uh, recovering a friendship, recovering a romantic relationship, um, recovery in the medical, getting better, healing, that kind of modality. So Friday is big for that, okay? So you also have sweet text message coming in on Saturday, the 11th. No, I'm sorry, the 10th, June 10th. Let's see what this is about. Show Virgo. What's this sweet? Okay, that's too many. What the heck? Y'all chill. Deck of cards, you chill. Okay. Oh yeah, wow. Somebody's gonna go out on a limb here. Somebody's going out on a limb. Somebody's taking a risk. Sense oh, for gosh sakes, really? I have a very aggressive energy flipping my cards all over the place. Like what chill out. All right, somebody's coming in, taking a chance, taking a risk in regards to sending uh, or starting up some kind of conversation. Sweet text message could be an apology too. You know, that's my page of uh, cups there. Yeah. Um, let me see here. All right, there we go. Yep, 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 yep. I'm making a decision. Um, somebody's making a decision here. They're on the crossroads. You know what? Just screw it. I'm going to send that message. Just to huck with it. I'm going to send the message. I'm going to say hello. I'm going to reach out in a kindness and I'm going to apologize or I'm just going to reach out and say something. Okay. I've been standing here for so long, him and on. Screw it. Whatever comes, what it comes, whatever happens, happens. It is what it is. That's the energy I'm picking up here behind this. Should I? Somebody kind of like at the crossroads there, you know, with the two of the wands, the two of the wands. Like, listen to me. The two of the wands. It's like some kind of like, I don't know, <laughs> medieval movie. The two of the wands. All right. The two of wands here. This is making a choice. You know, I've been like, kind of, somebody here, like, could be an Aquarius. Somebody here, like, yeah, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I don't know what to do. I'm stalling out here. Uh, I, I got to pick a lane. You know, screw it. I'm just going to get in the left lane and. I'm going to hit the uh, pedal to the metal to hell with it. And just, you know, I'm going to send that message and whatever happens, happens. And, and that's that. Yep. Look, somebody just, <laughs> somebody takes a huge risk. Is it you? Could be you. Could be the other, another person. But, you know, whatever's going on, like this person's like, uh, the energy. Somebody here is like, oh, you know, should I, shouldn't I? I got my walls up. You know, I've been through it with somebody here. I'm, I've been through it. And I don't know if I should send that message or I don't, I'm not sure. Like, should I or shouldn't I? Should I? You know, maybe it's like um, across like this is like the world here, you know. Uh, somebody could be in Africa or Pakistan. This is like the world or India. This is like World Wide Web. This is like internet message of some internet message. Well, I mean, like over the phone. Right? I don't know. Through your 5G network or your Wi-Fi or something. Yeah, look, uh, you know, I'm standing here with this nine of wands. Like, I got a headache. You know, I'm going to bust up. I don't know. I'm going to hurt so much. You know, screw it. I'm just going to do it. So you will be either getting or uh, you will either be receiving or sending um, some, type of an, uh, some type of a message um, on Saturday. That's like, oh, yeah, like... I want to reconcile. Maybe we could just be friends or just like, let's get together. Somebody's okay. So as far as another person, I feel like someone is very hesitant. If you've been waiting to hear from someone, they've been very hesitant. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Um, but I feel like they just kind of like to hell with it. What's there to lose? You know, nothing to lose now. You know, and they take that, they take that risk with the fool. Like they, they get like, I'm going to take this chance. Let's just see if we could have a new beginning and try to get back together right for some or just try to for some of you this is someone messaging you like just they want to ask you out they want to ask you to go like to some kind of event or party of some sort and you know i don't know i think they maybe they get some liquid courage they take a little like sit around with their friends and their friends are like yo no do it go ahead just do it just ask her just ask him just like what do you got to lose send that sweet that sweet nothing text message like hey you want to go to a party you know Okay, and vice versa, like I said, vice versa. Somebody takes a risk to reach out, 
Okay. So you also have good friends on Sunday. So let's see what's going on there. Good friends on Sunday, which pretty much is the three of cups. And it's also the two of cups. That energy for me, connecting with good friends. Okay, let's see. So Sunday, there might be something on Sunday where you're connecting with very good friends. Or this a person or connecting with other friends connected to a person. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Some of you are going to be exploring some new business opportunities for the week coming up. Um, there may be some opportunities coming to you starting on Sunday and going forward in the week that have to do with business, okay? But they're connected to people that you know, okay? So there might be some friends getting involved in a new business opportunity or investing to make some new income starting on Sunday. Something you could be thinking about or thinking about talking to your friends or so you have some friends who reach out to you and you know, let's all like invest into this big company. We're gonna be very successful. So it's, I like that for Sunday. That's like preparing for the week. That's getting in 100% Virgo mode, preparing for the week. Like how can I like, how can I increase my income? How can I make more money on top of what I'm investing in? Like that energy is definitely playing out and being successful with that. Okay. Yes. Queen of Swords. Okay. Yeah. There's some type of like light bulb moment with a person. Somebody has a light bulb moment on Sunday where it's like, you know what? I've toiled and I've labored, physical labor. I've done this work. I've been like, I'm done with that. Okay. This is, look, it's work smart or work hard. Which one do you want? Which one do you think you'll get the most benefit? Sure, if you work hard, you get the physical benefits and you, oh, I had a good day. I had a good work day. But if you work really smart, you don't have to like kill your bones and your muscles and you use your noggin and work really smart. And this is kind of like the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, she's all up in the head. She's all like very logical, scientific. She's financial. She's, well, not as much financial as maybe um, the the queen or the king of um, pentacles would be but she's smart she's witty you know what i mean she's self-sufficient and she's like she might be like an inner this could be an international she talks about international investments and things like that she's very strategic and knows her basic thing is like why are you why are you busting your your butt here you know um with this physical labor yeah i have a better idea i have a way to make money here. I have something. Now, whoever this person is to you, like I said, it could be a good friend. It could be anybody that you have a connection to that's in finances of some sort or is um, really good with uh, building portfolios or knowing where to put money and invest and things like that. Like he or she is very smart. And so there's a connection on Sunday that gets made. And this feels mostly to me because your weekend is, yeah, you got some healing and love stuff going on, but like you round out um, the weekend and you start on a, a financial foot for this week where it's like, I don't know, Virgo, you come into like some money. Um, you, you, you have like this new, uh, new income idea or something comes to you like a light bulb moment and it's something you talk to your friends about or your friends are talking to you about. And it's like, you know, like, let me get clear here. Like I can really do well. So whatever you might have, um, this could just be you coming to this to yourself and talking to some friends about it on the weekend. Like, hey, I got this amazing idea to like really have this new investment and like maybe this new job or start this new business or company where, you know, the money comes in and maybe there might be some people that offer you um, to invest in your idea, like financially or your company, or you get some like um, funding of some sort to help you with this thing so you can be prosperous you know, with that six of wands, which that six of wands is like, yo, recognition, success, award, victory, good news. So Virgo, your weekend looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't look bad. I don't feel like there's anything negative or horrible happening here of the weekend. Finally, Virgo, right? You get a little reprieve here. Happy, happy, joy, joy. So I'm gonna leave that there. I know it was short. 15 minutes. Can you believe 15 minutes is a short video? I used to do 15 minute videos. And I used to be like, oh my gosh, what am I going to say for 15 minutes? Back in the day, way, way back in the early days. <laughs> and my 15 minute videos would be like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> like I was like, uh, <laughs> so slow. 
I, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. So yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. I think that's a good message. We don't go, need to go any deeper. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. You know, I'll be back here on, um, well, Sunday uh, for the membership. So, you know, the Q&A. So if you want to become a member of my channel, 33 cents a day, pop in the live stream. You can get in there and ask me some questions. I'll pull some cards for like little mini readings. You can talk directly live to me. I know, I know it's an exciting day. It's a wonderful thing. I know, I know. So yeah, definitely do that. Personal reading link below in the description box as always. Have a great weekend. Everybody stay, breathe well. Hello, breathe well. I hope you get fresh, clean air if you happen to be in the path of the smoke. And if you are not and there's no fires around you and you have beautiful, clean blue skies and clean crystal air, I hope all around for all of you, whatever situation you're in, that you make good choices, you be happy, love yourselves, love each other, and I will see you all back here Sunday.